And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. My name is Christian once again. Welcome back to the Rundrecture channel. And for this week's episode, we shall be looking at this bottle of Mount Gay XO Triple Cask Blend. So, please do stay tuned. I shall see you right after this short but snappy intro. So let's start off with the design. Here we have the display box. It is what you expect. It is very, it is very pleasant to look at, and it's got plenty of nice little touches here, it's like the casks which have been used, the tasting notes, the style, and of course the signature from the master blender. This is the map outline of Barbados, where Exo was founded in 1703, and back on the 20th of February. I know that because it's written down here very nicely indeed, in English and in French. And a bit of information here saying how they created this particular bottle. To create the Mount Gay XO Master Blender, Truiden Branca carefully blends rich and mellow rums that have matured in American whiskey, bourbon and cognac casks. This small batch reserve is both round and complex. It can be enjoyed neat or on the rocks. As you know, I will be drinking it on the rocks as I have it right there. So, uh, the box itself is very pleasant. It's got very, it's, it's got, as you can see, this leathery color gives a very, very nice selection. And plenty of information for everyone to read. I shall not be reading it for you. And uh, yes, aside from that, I can't recommend it more enough. Now, let's look at the bottle itself. Here's one I have it opened up earlier. It is the Mount Gear bottle. I've said it before, I've said it again, it is a signature. It is iconic, over 300 years of history going into this thing. So I'm not gonna to say too much about it. You can see it for yourself. When you see this bottle up anywhere, you know that it's Mount Gay, you know that you can trust it. So let's get on to the tasting notes. I've got my trusty notepad here, so we shall be diving straight on into it. Mount Gay say the following that the aroma is a perfect balance of vanilla, oaky and dry spiced notes. The taste is tastes of salted caramel, baked fig and clove with the dark chocolate. The body is round, smooth and richly creamy with a long finish. And this is done in a traditional column and double retort pot still. The style is brown, round and complex as I mentioned earlier, and it's been aged in American whiskey, bourbon, and cognac casks. So that is what they've done there. And they say that uh, it's best served, if you're going to make something in cocktails, which, you're, which I would actually highly recommend, that you they do their own version of Old Fashions. Two are different. They have the Twisted Old Fashioned and the Honey Old Fashioned for winter. And then they have a Rhubarb Rum Delight, which looks delightful and a honey old fashioned for summer. So they've got both winter and summer covered. I should be doing a video on both as I happen to have the bottles here. So it'd be a shame not to, that's definitely coming up in the future. So here is the glass itself. The aroma is very, very pleasant indeed. The aroma is just what you're expecting when they say the perfect balance of vanilla, oak and dry spiced notes. You can definitely pick that up. The taste, well, there's one way to find that. The taste. It is something special. As an XO, is it up there with the Zagapa XO? No, but at the price of this bottle, which is between 50 to 60 euros, the price would be down here, uh, you cannot go wrong with it. The finish is a long, and the flavor is richly creamy indeed. I'm not sure what they mean when they say richly creamy, but it is indeed, it is very round, and it is very, very smooth. I drank a lot of this last night when I was watching Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers utterly humiliate the Kansas City Chiefs. So Tom Brady, congratulations. Here's to you, congratulations on your seventh ring. You've just overtaken Michael Jordan, so congratulations, and you made Bill Belichick look like a bit of a bill end, indeed. So congratulations, Tom Brady, congratulations to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and their entire organization. Uh, I should be now getting a Buccaneer shirt, 
just for the sake of that, because honestly, best football match I've watched, and I wasn't expecting to not see Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs to not score a touchdown, to only get three penalty kicks. Honestly, worthwhile sting went to 4 him. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the Spirit Hub scale, you can probably guess where it's going to go. It is an absolute birthday suited, but if you're not used to rums like this, this is 43%, so it's not cask strength, but still, it does have a nice pleasant burn to it, and that long flavour just lingers, and it fills up the nostrils, and definitely good to go. Um, if you're feeling a bit down right now, this is definitely the drink to go for. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please... Do follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram using the tag the Rum Direct. Please also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This year I shall be doing more interviews as that has been a request. So please do click that bell icon on. Please subscribe and you'll be notified of all future videos coming up. And I think that's it. We've been chatting for about five, six minutes now. So I'm going to call it quits now and wish you a very happy new year if I haven't seen you already. And please welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, please don't forget to hashtag as always, run for your life. If you want, if you like that hashtag, please let me know. If you don't, I can always change it. And on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, have a very pleasant evening and I wish you all the best. Take care and I'll see you soon.